Slipping slowly under Sydney Harbour Bridge, the Lord Nelson is heading out to take part in the first international tall ships race ever to be held in the Southern Hemisphere. She's the biggest British sailing vessel to have come this far south in more than 50 years. Over a fortnight, she'll race more than 1,300 miles across the Tasman Sea to Auckland in New Zealand, battling both the elements and tall ships from around the world. It's a challenge that's tested even the most experienced sailors. It's a formidable stretch of water, and I remember Francis Chichester and his epic round the world uh, voyage back in 1966 actually did a 360 capsize in the middle of the Tasman Sea. He went uh, completely round, upside down and back up again. He survived, of course. The race will be one of many highs and a few lows in an epic two-year voyage which started in Southampton on Trafalgar Day, October the 21st last year. She's already crossed the Atlantic twice, first to Rio de Janeiro in Brazil and from there to Cape Town in South Africa. She's been to India, Sri Lanka and Singapore and arrived in Australia this summer. Lord Nelson first arrived in Australia in Fremantle, moved to Adelaide, then to Melbourne, down to Hobart before she came up to Sydney. And the reception has just been extraordinary. Um, there has been that much outpouring of, of generosity, of spirit, at every port that we've called in. Since the voyage began, she's been caught up in bureaucratic wrangles. She's faced problems getting spare parts, and she's even lost a crew member who had to be landed ashore for medical treatment. It's the biggest adventure ever undertaken by the Jubilee Sailing Trust in its 35-year history. I will freely admit it hasn't been easy. I will freely admit that we should have done a lot more planning. We probably should have started preparing for this a year earlier than we did. But we made it. And everybody's safe. Two, six. Does the Jubilee Sailing Trust think it might do this again? Hell yes. We are already starting to plan, I hope, we're already starting to plan coming back in 2015 to be a bit more of a formal part of the International Disabled Sailing Championships. Her final appointment in Sydney was one of the most spectacular, a starring role in a fleet review. Prince Harry was there to inspect the ships on a day which ended with a fireworks display witnessed by more than a million people gathered around the harbour. Soon afterwards, the race across the Tasman was underway, but within days, the clear blue skies of Sydney gave way to high winds, rough seas and driving rain. Richard Jones, ITV News, Sydney.